We'll take questions for Brandon Turner now. Raise your hand. We'll get you a mic. I'll start with Brandon. Brandon, Coach Martinez was just in here and said, you know every, you know all the spots and in the, in the back end of the defense. Where do you like? Where, where would you like to play position-wise? What's your favorite? Um, anywhere. I'll play anywhere. I like playing all five of them. Well, actually six and dime. You know, sometimes, like last year, I played in the dime spot, played nickel, played corner. I haven't really got to play safety or free safety at all yet, but... Anywhere really in the secondary is where I feel comfortable. Brian, Brian, just how how challenging has this off season been for you? You know, how, when were you <coughs> when were you finally back and able to get back out there, and and how much did the time missed you know set you back in, in terms of your off season development? Um, really, the time sitting back it really didn't set me back any because we were still learning, we were still watching, we were still the means and watching other guys go through the um, formations and sets and everything. But um, this off season it was it wasn't really a struggle because you know I had my teammates, I had a couple of my other brothers that was in the same position as me, and we all kind of just built off each other and helped build each other up throughout the process. But now, being that we did sit back, I feel like all of us kind of see a, see the game a little bit different. All of us feel motivated all of us like we take more advantage of our opportunity because we've seen how it is like being down and not being able to get the reps you, you switch from 29 to 8 you go to that single digit uh, what where's that number come from and then is there a certain confidence level with coming with getting a number you maybe are more comfortable in than than one you're not um, that's a good question um actually i didn't really pick the number eight you know, um, I did ask for another number, and, you know, the number eight was just given to me. Um, but I do feel like there's a certain level of confidence and swag that comes, like, with getting a number that you feel more comfortable in. It can help you build your confidence. In some, in some scenarios, you know, I used to be number seven. I love the number seven. And any time I put it on my back, I knew that I was going to go out there and I was going to have a day. Saw some playing time in certain spots last year and performed pretty well. What did you learn from those experiences to where, you know, when those guys got back from injury, you kind of set back and, uh, you know, were able to build on that, I guess? Um, you know, really just paying attention to the other guys that was in front of me, like Theo, you know, he was a real smart guy. And, like, you know, just sitting in the meeting room with him, listening to the questions that he's asking, listening to the things that he's – watching the things that he's doing at practice, all of that kind of helps. Like, and just having an older guy that has a lot of experience and, you know, has been through a lot of stuff, like even behind Warren and stuff like that, those guys are, like, smart. And if you just watch them, you can learn so much. Brandon, I don't think, I don't think you're the first guy to come from, to Tennessee from Alabama or go the other way, but do you, I mean, do you catch any grief for it? Does anybody give you a hard time just making that move across the rivalry? Nah, they really don't. Um, I get a lot of, um, like, good messages still from, like, fans from um, that school or whatever, and, you know, it, it's, like, it's, it's no type of envy at all. They all support my daughter. They all check up on her and everything like that, even my old teammates and stuff like that. So I feel like that's a pretty good thing. What, what were your initial impressions of, of coming here and making a move from uh, a program that's been really good to one that's maybe not been as good? To build on it. To build on it and help us get to that level. Tell in the back. Hey, Brandon, do you have any personal goals for this upcoming season? Um, well, a personal goal that I got is to, you know, challenge myself each and every day to go out and give a little bit more, you know, um, coming off an in injury or whatever, you know, just constantly trying to build and get better and get more confident in um, my ability to do whatever is needed of me. Right. Brandon, you had the game against South Carolina last year where you started. You, you played well, obviously. You won SEC honor. Then you didn't get to play a lot after that. How much did that test your patience? And, and, and how tough was that to get thrown into the spotlight, perform well, but then not get as, as many opportunities down the stretch? Well, I've always been taught to be ready whenever my, time, my number is called. And so, I mean, it really, didn't, it really didn't make me feel any type of way or anything because I knew, I knew that I had to play my role, you know, being that – other guys were older, and they knew more, honestly, than me, you know, and they had more experience. I just sat back, and I just continued to be patient. Anything else for Brandon? All right. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks. Thanks.